hey guys welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to block or deny your standard user to install any program or software on your windows 11 pc or laptops so you just need to follow me so i will show you guys two method by which you can easily block your standard user to install any programs on your windows 11 pc so the first method is you just need to go to your start or search window and type sick pool dot msc now press enter from your keyboard i will give you this command to my video description so after type this command you just need to press enter now after open local uh, security policy you just need to expand local policy from your left side over here as you can see now expand security option just click on that security option folder on your right side you just need to scroll a little bit and let me expand this one and here you will create an option called behavior of elevation prompt for standard user so you just need to double click on it and you just need to set here prompt for credential on secure desktop so after that click on apply then ok once it will done you just need to restart your pc and it will work for your computer Another method is you just need to go to your start or search window and type gpedit.msc. Now press enter from your keyboard and after that you just need to expand computer configuration from your left side over here as you can see. Now expand administrative templates. Now expand windows component. Now here you will get an option called if you scroll down windows installer you will get that folder so click on that folder windows installer on your right side you will get option called turn off windows installer so double click on it and you just need to enable this option and from here you can use uh, this option for non-manage application only or click on always okay so after that you just need to uh, so i will select here non-manage application only and apply then okay after that you just need to restart your PC and it will apply for your computer. So I hope this good tutorial will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button. And if you have any questions or questions in the comments down below, I will see you guys in the next one next video. Till then bye bye, take care.